Hey guys, so I asked you on Twitter if you would prefer to see a 2013 skincare favorites or a beauty haul. And it was a perfect tie down the middle, so I figured I would do a beauty haul first because it's easiest for me and then plus I can dig into my new goodies and not have to wait to show you on camera. So this background right here, again, I have a hair stuck in my mouth. Again, this background is not permanent. It's the only place in my room for some reason that the lighting was adjusting correctly and not freaking out like it was in my last video. Um, if Amazon is telling the truth, I should have my new lighting in about two to three days. So once that gets here, I will figure out a new permanent background, but at this moment, just work with me because this is what we got. Okay, let's get into it. So I went to Sephora. Ah, Candyland! I actually think I get more excited for Sephora as an adult than I did for the candy store when I was a kid. And I didn't get to go to the candy store often because my mom didn't like candy. Okay, so first thing I did was stop by Illamasqua. I only own, I believe, one thing by Illamasqua, so I'm excited to try these. And these are the powder blushes in the shade Hussy and Lover. Today, I am wearing the shade Hussy. Oh. <laughs> On my cheeks right now, I do have a MAC product on the top. I have to say right off the bat, the one thing I don't like about this product is it's difficult to open and it kind of can like hurt your nails opening it. But the product inside is extremely pigmented. These are both matte shades. Like you can see how pigmented that is from there. It's very intense. You only need a tiny bit. And the other one I got was Lover. Lover. Let me get that open. Lover looks like this. It is a true orange that has a little bit of pink in it. But I will show you with just one swatch how pigmented these are. They really are impressive how much pigment they have. So that is exciting to me. I'm looking really forward to playing more with these. I did see like a blog post. I forgot who it was. It's nobody that I know. But I saw a blog post just raving about Illamasqua blushes. So I'm excited to try them. Then I got the Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but I've heard that it is absolutely amazing. And when I opened it up and saw how much product you got and saw how black it was, I got super excited. And I just love gel liners. It's the only eyeliner I use. I don't use liquid and I rarely use a coal. So I'm all about gel liners. So I'm really excited to try this one. I got two products by Becca and these actually I ordered online. They just came in the mail like two days ago. So I figured I'd throw them in here. This one is the Shimmering Skin Perfector with SPF 25. It is just a skin luminizer. I have not tried it yet on my face. I sampled it on the back of my hand and it looked gorgeous. And then I also got the Shimmering Highlighting Powder by Becca as well. And this one is in shade Opal. There were a few different shades online and I couldn't decide which one to get because hello, it's online. This one though, I think I made a good choice. It looks really beautiful right there. You guys know me. I cannot get enough of my highlighters. I need to put that bad boy on. I picked up two more Anastasia Brow Wiz eyebrow pencils in the shade Ash Blonde in Soft Brown. I run through these like nobody's business because they are the only thing I use to fill in my brows. Finally got the NARS lip gloss in the shade Angelica. I feel like everybody and their mom owns this except me. And when I saw it in person, I was like, why don't I own this? So I'm really excited about it. I put it on in the car ride home last night and I love the color. It is a beautiful sheer pink that has just the right amount of like purple lilac in it. This is a gorgeous color that will truly complement pretty much all skin tones, light or dark, warm or cool. This is gonna look good on pretty much everyone. So I'm excited that I have this now. I got Bumble and Bumble Prepped a powder. This is just a volumizing powder. This recently came out at Sephora and I saw it on Sephora.com and I looked really interesting to me because I love, love, love volumizing powders. And for those of you who've asked if they really work, yes, it really is a miracle. You like sprinkle in your hand like powdered sugar, you rub it on your scalp and you have like a massive volume. So I'm really excited to try this because I love Bumble and Bumble, so I hope it works. Okay, so the rest of my Sephora bag is skincare related items because I was super excited about skincare for some reason when I was there yesterday. So I did just get a Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover and this is super simple, like self-explanatory. The girl there, Michelle, hi Michelle. She was telling me that this is her favorite eye makeup remover and I just needed a simple eye makeup remover. So why not? Thank you. I got the new, oh, oh. Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. Oh my God, I am so excited about this mask. You guys, you have no idea. Okay, so I totally opened it up last night and used it and it's amazing. When I woke up this morning, even my husband noticed that my skin looked so gorgeous and I was like, 
Thank you, Glam Glow. This is the main reason that I took a trip to Sephora yesterday was for this Glam Glow treatment. So because of that, I got like a little skincare obsessed and went a little nuts in the skincare section of Sephora. These two next purchases were totally inspired by Nicole Guerrero. They are by Paracone MD. I am super excited to try both of them. This one is the Blue Plasma. This is a non-acidic daily peel for brightness and radiance, and this one is a deep moisture therapy daily moisturizer. I used to work at Nordstrom and all of Paracone MD's customers were so loyal to the brand and had nothing but good things to say about it. But when I worked there, I could not afford the skincare. So I always kind of dreamt about owning it, but I couldn't own it. So when I saw Nicole make that video, it was like a haul that she did recently. I was like, oh my God, yes, thank you. Dr. Paracone, hello, where have you been all my life? So when I was standing at Sephora and looking at everything and looking at my options, these two, the exact same ones that she bought, I was like, those are the ones I want. They were both made for dry skin. They're both made for deep hydration and sensitivity and brightness and radiance. So yeah, I'm super excited. Yee! Then I got two body butters, both by Soap and Glory. This one is in a tub, this one is in a tube. This one is called the Righteous Butter and it literally smells just like Miss Dior. If you know what that perfume smells like, it is identical in scent, just not as strong as they perfume. This one is in a tube, the Daily Smooth Amazingly Effective Dry Skin Formula Body Butter. This scent is a little bit more warm. It smells like it has a little bit more vanilla in it than this one does. I love body butters this time of year. Who am I kidding? I love body butters all year long. I don't care. I love body butters. I love how creamy and luxurious they are and buttery. This was recommended to me by the lady who worked there. It is the Wild Rose Daily Brightening and Refinishing Buff Cleanser. I'm super excited to use this. It's like a daily exfoliator for the face. It is by the brand Coors Chorus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It wouldn't be a haul video if I didn't know how to pronounce at least one brand, right? Last skincare product is by the brand Nude. It is Pro Genius Treatment Oil. It has omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. I was told that this is great for everything. Anti-aging, wrinkles, hydrating, brightening, everything you can think of. So I'm really, really excited to use this. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with beauty oils and they are like such a thing right now. When I walk into my Sephora, there's like an entire wall of every single oil. Everybody needs a beauty oil in their life. So I'm super, super excited to try this. Then I went to Lush. Oh, this bag smells intense. I got a new Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I've mentioned in my past videos that I exfoliate with organic sugar, which I absolutely still love, but this is one of the only exfoliators that I've ever tried other than the organic sugar that I just really, really love. And I think it's gentle enough, but yet it's harsh enough at the same time, if that makes sense. It's great for my sensitive skin and it has sea salt in it, which is really nice because sea salt can really help combat acne, but yet it doesn't dry you out a lot of, like a lot of acne products does. I hope that I just like made sense to you. Then I got the Karma Cream. This is a hand and body lotion and it has cocoa butter in it and almond oil, which I usually love those two combined. I really like the scent. It's not too warm because I really don't like anything that has like amber or musk in it. It just, it's too warm. It makes me feel like I'm like a bakery or something, but this one has a very clean, soft scent to it, but yet it also has that almond oil in it that makes it still smell the perfect amount of warmth. I got a new shower gel. I got a new shower gel called Dirty Spring Wash. I honestly was just so attracted to the color and it smells like mint. It says, don't be dirty, get fresh with this tingly and extremely minty shower gel. And I love anything minty or pepperminty and especially when it comes to showering, it's like so revitalizing and refreshing. So, okay, TMI about my shower time. I got another breath of fresh air. This is a toner water. It is a mineral rich sea breeze captured in a bottle. So I have owned this before. I got the smaller bottle. I don't know why I didn't get the big one because I already know I like it, but you just spray on after you wash your face and then go on with your serums or your daily or nightly routine, whichever one you like. It's just a nice toner water that you can spray and not just have to like take it and rub it on. So yeah, I really like these toners. Toner. I like Lush's toners. I like this one. I'm done. And then I got two lip balms, a honey trap and a, it started with a kiss lip tint. I love, love, love these. I have not tried this one yet, the lip tint, but the Honey Trap lip balm, I swear by it. It's like my favorite lip balm in the entire world. It's one in a little tin that you have to like rub around with your finger. Oh my God, it is so amazing and so moisturizing. It, is, it almost is like wax. It's so moisturizing on your lips. It's awesome. You put this on and you will not have to reapply anything to your lips for a couple of hours. It's great. I totally got a second one for my mom. <laughs> and then I have like five or six other things in here that are just like bath balms and bath melts. 
And I'm not gonna go through every single one individually because I don't. Even, it doesn't even say on there what it is. I'm not gonna open it up and show it to you. But I will say that my favorite bath bomb by Lush is the Butterball. It is so amazing and so moisturizing. You throw it in your bath if you don't know what a bath bomb is, and it literally like fizzes and like explodes in your bathtub. And the Butterball is my favorite because when you get out, you literally don't have to moisturize. It moisturizes your skin for you in the bathtub. It is. I feel like I have some time, so I'm going to quickly go through some other things I have purchased in the last week. Hopefully this isn't an hour long. I did get these two Oscar Blondie products. I've never used Oscar Blondie, and I randomly saw them when I was at Target, and I was like, mine. And this one is the Texture and Volume Spray, and this one is the Volumizing Dry Shampoo Spray. I love anything that has to do with volumizing, and especially when it's something that is a volumizing product that doesn't make your hair extremely sticky and or greasy. Oh my God, I got these three days ago and I am obsessed with both of them. This one is the perfect texturizing spray in the world. This is turning into a review and not a haul, but honestly, you can't help me. Like when I buy something, I wanna try it immediately. And this texture and volumizing spray is off the chisane. Then I got this L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. It's an extra strong hold. I picked it up because I was again at Target and I needed an extra strong hold hairspray because I ran out of mine. I needed something quick. And I love this hairspray, it really does work, but it is stinky. And it, this is the one that I was referring to in the end of my last video where I said this hairspray smells like piss. Um, it was this, it's piss in a bottle, but it's, it's great. All right guys, that is it for my beauty haul. I will be back soon with my 2013 skincare favorites. I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Why is my bun totally cut out? I look so weird. Or if you Moving on. This is his way of trying to get me to play with him. Hey! Mama's got a film. Shoo shoo, honey bunnies. Let me do my thing. I can just film my intro like this. <laughs> All right, ready and action! Good, I'm still alive. Again, that's the one that my doorbell just rang and it's like seven o'clock. Sketchy, I'm alone. <laughs> I think my lady just got here. The boxes were so big I kind of bring them in and it was raining, so I was like, I don't want to go out there, but I'm pretty sure that was my lighting. <sighs> Let me just take a breath. I had to grab my phone in case it was a serial killer. I was gonna have to call my husband and be like, I'm dying, help me, hurry. How's this? And you guys are gonna make fun of me! No, 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 not happening. Uh uh. Still not good enough. Better. Soothing and smooth. Honest to God, Jacqueline, like, were you raised by monkeys?